Let's talk about Russia yes. then. Uh, it's been accused of sabotage after multiple explosions on the uh, Nord Stream pipelines caused gas to leak into the Baltic Sea. Well, last night, the president of the European Council, Charles Michel, said those responsible for the sabotage will be made to pay. We're joined now by Robert Fox, defence editor at the Evening Standard. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. Um, you wrote yesterday in your article, twist or bust. It does feel as though Putin's going crazy. Putin's under a lot of pressure. This is absolutely clear. He's going to declare Friday uh, that there has been an overwhelming desire of those living in these smashed up four districts of southern and eastern Ukraine to be annexed by Russia. This was never on the cards uh, uh, before. Um, he's under pressure, curiously, from the ultra-nationalists. Ultra-nationalists, the least realistic of all. Because in order to do what he says he's going to do, defend Mother Russia, which is now 15% added on of Ukraine, these four districts, he's going to need to throw in a lot more troops. Whatever troops he throws in are going to be a lot better prepared, a lot worse prepared, a lot worse motivated, and a lot worse equipped mm. than what they've had before. Hence these huge queues at the border with Georgia, Russians trying to get away from this mobilisation. Yeah, and it's going on all the way round. The further east you get, there was one village in this one of the Siberian districts with 100 males, and they ordered 60 to join up. Mm. The, the, the tensions are quite clearly there. Russia, though, the bad news uh, for the time being is determined to fight it out. They're using things like Iranian drones. And, of course, we will hear mention of the use of all means, which is taken to be code for nuclear. And there will be an overt nuclear threat of using tactical nuclear weapons. But there are other not rather nasty things that the Russians have connived at, if not used before, namely chemicals in, 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 in Syria. And as we were seeing, as in your headline, with the pipelines, Nord Stream 1 and 2, sabotage, of all the navies in the area, the ones with the technical ability to do that, to do that so suddenly and almost clinically and crazily, mm -hmm. it's Russia. It's, it fulfills all the criteria, you know, motivation, capability uh, and uh, 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 opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've really got the prospect with Putin, at least, with, and Putinism, we've got a rogue regime. Mm -hmm. And I think that that will worry the theoretical allies practical, but more theoretical than practical, you know, obviously what I'm talking about, namely number one, China, mm -hmm. and then a slack handful of very strange bedfellows. So that they're trading a bit of oil with Saudi Arabia, a bit with Iran, but it seems to be going nowhere. Mm. Putin was supposed to be a master, master strategist. Mm. It's on the a card player with many, many plan B, C, D and Z even up his sleeve. And he doesn't seem to have that now, which is worrying. So how does the West respond beyond the usual condemnations? I mean, they'll be, they will announce the outcome of this referendum. They'll draw a kind of defects board and say, right, this is all part of Russia now. There will be condemnation. But what about beyond that? They've got to support the war economy and the war motivation, the war machine, um, of uh, Zelensky. It's not that this is a war that can be over in X days or 200 days. We're on day 217. And it means all kinds of things where I think you're getting a real division. I won't say that there is argument where they're saying, no, we won't do it, but you're getting a lot of hard cop, soft cop. The hard cops are US, UK, Poland, and a bit the Czech uh, Republic mm. and the Baltics. Mm. The soft, and, and France. Actually, France re re really will be there. The soft cops are quite clearly Germany, Italy. Why should we bother? Actually, countries very oddly like the Netherlands, mm. probably one of the wealthiest countries in the world. But, mm. you know, that really is it our fight? Should we, should, mm. should we get involved in it? Um, I think, you know, in view of what you're doing with world markets, what's happening with uh, the, uh, the, uh, the budget policy and philosophy in the UK, actually another huge disruptor mm. could be the implosion or, 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 or the, the, the sheer turmoil, which isn't just Ukraine anymore, uh, in the whole region mm. being, being churned up by Russia.